What's going on guys? My name is Keizo. Welcome back to this Dragon Age Origins Let's Play. Um, let's see, where did we leave off? Oh yes, when we left off we just come out of our house here, talked to our father, and now we need to go meet back up with Duncan because we're apparently heading out of the alienage and off to Ostagar. I believe that's where he said we were going. Where am I going right now? I'm lost. I'm going this way. Aha, Duncan. What's going on, Duncan? Ready to go. Are you ready to go? I just said I'm ready to go. Good. Then we leave for Ostagar immediately. All right. Never enter battle with your bare hands. Use the inventory screen, I, to equip new weapons or armor for quick access to restorative items like health poultices. I keep wanting to say potions. Drag them from the inventory to the quick bar along the bottom of your screen. We know this. We have done this. It is very helpful. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times. But here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't oh. expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, your majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho oh there, Fred. Might I know your name? I'm Tyrandil, your majesty. Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. I see you're an elf, friend. From where do you hail? The city of Denerim. As do I. Th though I've not been in the palace for some time. Do you come from the alienage? Tell me, how is it there? My guards all but forbid me going there. Hmm. Should I say? Yeah, I'll say it. You have no idea how bad it is, do you? You think I care nothing about these things, but I do. Uh, I suppose trust will only come with proof. Things will change once we defeat the Darkspawn, in the alienages and all through Ferelden. For now, we must attend to war. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Ostagar. The Wardens will benefit greatly with you in their ranks. Oh, you're too kind, Your Majesty. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. I didn't realize things were going so well. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, your majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. You know, a king riding with the fabled grave wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, grave wardens. That is one hell of a sword he's got in his back. That thing is enormous. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Hmm. Yeah, you definitely don't sound very reassured. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. 
I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Hmm. Why not? He seems to regard the Grey Wardens highly. Yet not enough to wait for reinforcements from the Grey Wardens of Orlais. He believes our legend alone makes him invulnerable. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. Joining ritual. Um. Joining ritual. What do you mean? What ritual? Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the joining in order to become a Grey Warden. The ritual is brief, but some preparation is required. We must begin soon. Am I the only recruit you have? No, there are two other recruits here already. They have been waiting for us to arrive. Hmm. All right, uh, what do you need me to do? Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge, should you need to. Alrighty. And we've got a bunch of new stuff. We've got an achievement. Area unlocked. New quest. Codex has been updated. We've got an item. What do we get for an item? What did we get for an item? sure what we just received there. Right. Alright, well, screw it. Um, let's open up... What am I looking for here? Journal. And see what new codex entries we got first off. Uh, creatures. Archdemon. In darkness eternal they searched for those who would go to them on. Until at last they found their prize, their god, their betrayer, the sleeping dragon Dumont. Their taint twisted even the false god, and the whisper awoke at last in pain and horror, and led them to wreak havoc upon all the nations of the world, the first blight. Right. False dragon gods of Teventer Imperium lie buried deep within the earth, where they have been imprisoned since the Maker cast them down. No one knows what it is that drives the Darkspawn in their relentless search for the sleeping old gods. Perhaps it is instinct, as moss will fly into torch flames. Perhaps there is some remnant of desire for vengeance upon the ones who goaded the Magisters to assault heaven. Whatever the reason, when Darkspawn found one of the ancient drag one of these ancient dragons, it is immediately afflicted by the Tain. It awakens twisted and corrupted and leads the darkspawn in a full-scale invasion of the land, a blight. Hmm. Different. Oh, we've got a codex entry here for those Mabari warhounds that we fought in the, uh, in the palace. Or in the estate, not the palace. Dogs are an essential part of Ferelian culture, and no dog is more prized than a Mabari. The breed is as old as myth, said to have been bred from the wolves who served Dane. Prized for their intelligence and loyalty, these dogs are more than mere weapons or status symbols. The hounds choose their masters and pair with them for life. To be the master of a Mabari anywhere in Ferelden is to be recognized instantly as a person of worth. The Mabari are an essential part of Ferelden military strategy. Trained hounds can easily pull knights from horseback or break lines of pikemen. 
and the sight and sound of a wave of war dogs howling and snarling has been known to cause panic among even the most hardened infantry soldiers. I bet. Most things are crazy looking. Alright, what else do we have here? City elves we've read, that we've read. The Kokari Wilds. It is said that in the midst of the Black Age, when werewolves stalked the lands of Ferelden in numbers that kept every farmholder indoors and a hound on every doorstep, a powerful Arl of the Almari peoples stood and declared that he would put an end to the threat. His Arlings stood on the border of the Dark Forest on the southern border of the Ferelden Valley, and he claimed that the werewolves used the forest to launch their midnight assaults on humanity. For twenty years, this Arl led an army of warriors and hounds deep into the forest. In his hunt for the werewolves, he slew not only every wolf he came upon, but also every member of the chastened wilder folk. Any one of them, he said, could harbor a demon inside, and thus be a werewolf in disguise. For twenty years, the forest rang with screams and the rivers ran red. The tales say that an old chastened woman found her sons all dead at the Arl's blades. She pulled one of those very blades from one son's heart and plunged it into her own chest, cursing the Arl's name as she did so. Where her blood touched the ground, a mist began to rise. It spread and spread until it was everywhere in the forest. The Arl's army became lost, and it is said that they died there. Others say they wander still. The ruins of his Arlings stand to this day, filled with the ghosts of women waiting eternally for their husbands to return. The forest of the legend is, of course, the Kakari Wilds. These are as many legend. There are as many legends about the great fo southern forest as there are shadows, or so the saying goes. The Chass and Wilder Wilder folk have made their home there since mankind first came to these lands, and the wildlands spread as far into the south as anyone had ventured. Beyond the mists are vast tracts of snow, white cap mountains, and entire fields of ice. It is a land too cold for mankind to survive. Yet this chastened, he count in existence even there. And they tell of horrors beyond the wilds that the lowland folk could not begin to comprehend. To most, Ferelden simply ends with the Kakari wilds. There is nothing beyond. The wilds is a land of great trees, wet marshes, and dangerous monsters. What more needs to be said? Kaelin, I'd hope for a war like the tale of the big riding to fable great wardens against the tainted god. Son of the legendary king Merrick Theron, Kaelin was the first Ferelden king born into a land free from foreign rule in two generations. Since his father's death, he's held the throne alongside his queen, Anora. Logan Mactir. It takes more than legends to win a battle. Logan was born a farmer during a time when his country was under foreign occupation. When he was still a boy, he joined the resistance where his considerable tactical genius quickly became apparent. He became close friends with Prince, Prince Marek, the last true heir to the Ferelden throne, and together they led the rebels to drive out the forces of the Elysian Empire. Marek raised his friend to the nobility and logged in. Logan is now more of a symbol than a man. He represents the Ferelden ideals of hard work and independence. Uh, let's see. We know about this, we know about that, we know about that, we know about this. All those. like it for our codex so we're all caught up on that now I guess we'll go venture into this whoa camp over here that is a long drop and a hell of a bridge which is kind of broken I don't dare get near the edge of that because my luck I will fall off it's missing a whole side there. Mountains off in the distance. Like 
the architecture here. Especially that. That is cool. Hey, right. you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. Yeah, that's me. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Um... Tell me about Osagar. Used to be a fortress long time ago, so I understand. Back in the days when the Wilders used to invade the lowlands. You were just on the eastern side of the ruin. The Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loghain's closed it off until the battle. This side is the King's Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. Can't swing a dead cat. Right. Is there anywhere to get supplies? Quartermaster. He's just a bit to the northwest. All right. Do I hear dogs barking? This is Ferelden, isn't it? The king has his kennels on the west side of camp. Stinks from all the hounds. These aren't cute puppies, though. Some of those dogs bite the dark spawn and get too much of that blood in them. It's like poison. Slow, painful death. Terrible. Hmm. Alright, I'll be on my way now. Good luck to you, then. Yeah, we've got a new codex entry for Ostagar. Which I will read in a second as soon as we. What is going on over here? I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. Right. They're doing something crazy. Mages. Always doing something we crazy. We stand here in this hour, good Who folk is? of Ferelden, and we contemplate the death that may await. Death is no failure, my friends. Should it find you, you will not have failed your king. You will have served your maker. Die in this battle, and when you stand before the maker in the land beyond the fade, he shall not find you wanting. Go not into death gladly, but with the knowledge you have been held at bay by your spilled blood. And if you go to stand beside the maker, go with our blessing, for you shall not be forgotten. My friends, let us bow our heads and remember those who have fallen and those who have yet to fall. Well then, that's pretty deep. This so, looks like a... Any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some darkspawn spear this time tomorrow. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Ah, oh, well, too bad. <laughs> right. Uh, yes, this looks like a quartermaster. It sure you is. You there, elf. Where's my armor? And why are you dressed so preposterously? Um, are you mistaking me for a servant? What? Oh, uh, you're the one who arrived with the Grey Warden. I, uh, please forgive my rudeness. There are so many elves running about, and I've been waiting for... That has simply been so hectic. I never thought... P please, pardon my terrible manners. I, I am just the quartermaster, a simple man. No one special. Perhaps you should treat your servants more kindly. Ye yes, of course, you're very right. Uh, did you come for some supplies, perhaps? Uh, what kind of supplies do you have? Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the King's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> really? Uh, let me see what you have Let first. me know what you'd like. Alright, we need to sell a whole bunch of stuff. Can I just drag and sell? Can I just drip? Yes, okay. Get rid of those. That is resistance to cold, resistance to fire. Uh, I'll get rid of that because I don't have trap making yet. Electricity resistance. Uh, get rid of that. Okay, you do sell bolts. 
this so I can get rid of some of this stuff here. Um, I can't use the great sword, so I'll get rid of both of those. does more damage and has a better cr better critical chance and better armor penetration and a better range I'm not sure how fast this thing fires though I'll keep my crossbow for now now is this a second crossbow um, I've got a studded leather helm on I've got studded leather gloves on I've got those boots. I can't wear that. Requires 38 strength. Hmm. Massive armor. Silverite tier 6. I don't think I'm gonna even be able to wear that for a long time, so... I'll get rid of it. Uh, small iron shield. I can use a shield, right? I'm sure I can. Prey iron tier 2 requires 12 strength, defense 150, missile deflection 188, strength modifier 1. 150, 188, 1. 150, 150. I'll keep the small metal shield. Can't use the denim guard shield. Get rid of this clothing. Get rid of those clothing. Get rid of the wedding clothes. Weapon rune. You can upgrade weapons by enchanting them with runes. Hmm. We'll keep that. For exacting illustration and script. Get rid of that. And that seems good for now. Um, what do you have to sell here? studded leather boots? No, I won't. Because the one I've got is still better. Studded leather armor. I will buy that. Yeah, I will buy that. Packs designed to distribute weight evenly, letting explorers fight unfettered even while carrying large quantities of gear. Each backpack purchase automatically increases inventory capacity by 30. Might as well. How much is it? 57 silver? Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Did you just, like, wave at me? Been standing right here the whole time. Alright, studded leather armor, equip that. Um, can I use that? How do I... Inspect. Divinity rune for winter type weapon rune. One cold damage. How do I... how do I use it? How do I use it? I'm not sure how I use it. Right. Alright, um... Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Uh, let me see your other... So guys. long as you keep it quiet. Sorts of all 
sorts of stuff here. Longbow. Plus three fire damage, plus three cold damage. Oh, you've got a bunch of stuff here. Hmm, should I get the longbow? 660, uh, can I? Hold on. Hello again. Is there something you need? Yes. Some supplies, perhaps? Yes. Other goods. So long as you keep it quiet. Uh, I was looking for a long bow. Eight, six, one, ten, armor registration, four, eighty, range, thirty-seven. Hmm. We'll go ahead and do it. I'm gonna get the longbow, and I'm gonna get the fire bolts. All 20 of them. Oh, really? We'll get. Yeah, and then we've got 40. I think that gave me 40. Oh, fire bolt. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Okay. Um. Crap. Alright, well, we'll use those, we'll hold on to the longbow until I get some more money. I cannot believe I just did that. Right. Is that literally just two? They can't be that expensive, can they? I hope not. What is glowing over here? I don't know if I want to unlock that or not. I unlocked it. I've got a fire arrow, and I'm taking, and nobody cares, works for me. You've gained access to your first store, here you can buy or sell items, various stores are scattered throughout the world, while transaction is open you may use the buyback function to reverse any accidental sales or purchases at no loss of memory. Right. Basically saying once you close that, that shop window, if you sold something you didn't want to sell, you're gonna have to pay full price for it. So let it be. Infirmary. Else is over here. It looks like Oh that thing just looks pissed off. And it's got armor? Really? Can I talk to these guys? I'll see you. No, I cannot. You. You need to convince them. We've got to run. The Darkspawn are coming. Um. Why do you say that? I saw them. We're gonna die. I apologize, Warden. He's been like this ever since they found him in the wilds. Is it possible he has important information? The commander who brought him here didn't seem to think so. You... You can feel it, can't you? They taint the land, turn it black and sick. Oh, you can feel it inside. They'll come out of that forest and spread. Like caterpillars covering a tree. They'll swallow us whole. Uh, that's quite enough out of you. You need to calm yourself, my good man. They were everywhere. I saw them. Hmm. She just walks away. Oh, oh, that was nothing. Don't don't mind him. Right. Um. He could have possibly seen something. I guess we will find out soon enough. Oh, there's another. Very upset looking dog. And I can talk to you. I think. Oh, that's the exit to the Kakari Wilds, where I don't want to go right now. We've got to get this ritual started as soon as I kind of figure out what's going on in the camp around here. Uh, there's a tent.
just Duncan chilling in the. This looks like a Great Warden thing. Uh, what else we got? Logan's guard. Look carefully, man. This wretched thing is a dark spawn. They're strong and cunning and smart, but don't listen to those old wives' tales. They can be killed. Stick them with your sword enough, and they go down. Their blood is black as sin and poisonous. Don't even touch it. You get tainted with that blood, and you may as well slit your throat. We've lost many dogs already. Had to muzzle them to keep them from biting. It's a long and painful way to die. Hmm. Sounds like it. Now, when I first walked in here, I could have sworn I saw like a quest icon over here. I did. There it is. Maker above. Hear the prayers of your sons and daughters. What is this about? Mm, this isn't good. I hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Oh boy. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. Um. What's the, what's the problem? This is a Mabari. Smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help, but I need him muzzled first. What? Why do you think I could muzzle him? You're a Grey Warden, or soon will be. All Wardens are immune to the darkspawn taint. The most you have to worry about is some tooth marks. Right. Just how smart is this dog? Centuries ago, a mage bred them to be smart and understand what they're told. They can remember and carry out complex orders. Most valuable dogs in the world. Trouble is, they generally imprint to one master. Re-imprinting them is very difficult. But without the medicine, re-imprinting won't be an issue. Will you help? Could he be imprinted to me? We can try. But first, we need to muzzle and medicate him. I suppose I'll give it a shot. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. That thing is enormous. The dog looks up at you respectfully, backing down from its aggressive stance. You can see intelligence in his eyes, as well as a great deal of pain. This animal is very ill. Put the muzzle on the dog. Mabari growls weakly, but does not challenge you. After you are done, he wouldn't well respond to me. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds anytime soon? Uh, I might be. Why? There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood red center. Where in the wilds could I find this flower? It usually grows in dead wood that collects at the edge of ground pools. Should be plenty this time of year. Alright, I'll see if I can find one. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. Quest, the Mabari Hound. Alright, who do I need to find? Uh, let's open up my quest panel. Ostagar, join the Grave Wardens, uh, make active. I still don't know who I need to talk to. <laughs> uh, da -da -da -da. Find the Grave Warden Alistair, you've arrived at the King's Camp just outside the Kari Wilds in the ruin known as Ostagar. Duncan has told you when you are ready to begin the joining, you should seek out the Grave Warden named Alistair somewhere in the camp. Somewhere in the camp. That really doesn't help me. Are you? Who are you? You're just a soldier. You're Logan's guard. King's guard, Logan's guard, soldier. Uh, what's out here? Is this the bridge? Yeah, that's the bridge. Maybe he's up this way? Of dogs spawn different kinds. 
been reported. Oh, this is supposed to be the battle that sends these Darkspawn back underground. You believe that? I don't know what to believe. We've won every battle, but there's more of them each time. Makes you wonder if them Grey Wardens are right. Hey, a chest. wonder if I can take stuff out of this one and nobody will care. Apparently I can. Do not falter. I don't think I should interrupt her. She's praying. Looks like there's a marker telling me to go this way. Yes, that's exactly where I need to go. Should have probably paid attention to that before. But I didn't see it. I want this nonsense talk stopped immediately. What are you, a bunch of natural fishwives spreading gossip until you brown your small clothes out of terror? We've seen hey. nothing to suggest that the Darkspawn drag our people underground to evil. And I want this talk about Darkspawn enslaving survivors to stop immediately. Keep your minds focused on the battle. You fight for Ferelden and for your king. Remember that. Right. of Ferelden, my sisters and gentle folk. We stand here on the eve of battle. Sisters and gentle folk. Is that like gentlemen, but medievalish? Medievalish. <laughs> I make new words because it's fun. What is down here? A servant, more servants. Aha, that's Alistair up there. But I think what I'm gonna do is, since we um, we spent a good while in this video just running around, reading stuff, um, what I will do is we'll read this last codex entry, and if I can find it, entry for Ostagar, and then I'll cut the video, and this next video will be joining the Grey Wardens. Alright, so Ostagar, representing the furthest point of encroachment by the ancient Teventer Imperium into the barbarian lands of the southeast. The fortress of Ostagar was once one of the most important defensive holdings south of the Waking Sea. It stood at the edge of the Kakari Wilds, watching for any signs of invasion by the bar barbarians known today as the Chas Chasson Wilders. Straddling a narrow pass in the hills, the fortress needed to be bypassed to reach the fertile lowlands to the north and proved to be exceedingly difficult for the wilders to attack because of its naturally defensible position. Like most imperial holdings in the south, Ostagar was abandoned after Teventer's collapse during the first blight. It was successfully sacked by the chest and wild wilders, wilders, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And then the Chasson threat dwindled following the creation of the modern Ferelden nation fell to ruin completely. It has remained unmanned for four centuries, holy crap, though most of the walls still stand, as does the tall tower of Ishal, named after the great Archon that ordered its construction. Osagar remains a testament to the magical power of the Imperium that created it. Indeed. Four centuries, and that thing's still standing. It's pretty impressive architecture. All right, um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. There's plenty more content coming out, um, as well as I've got a few other things that I want to try working on. Um, I did just grab Counter Strike Go off of Steam. I got uh, Flight Simulator X Steam Edition. I definitely want to do videos on both of those, um, and possibly some more RPG stuff, um, in a later date, or on a later date, just down the road, who knows. 
but uh, yeah, uh, definitely like, comment, subscribe if you like the videos. Um, definitely helps me to help you to help everyone because games and stuff and things. <laughs> Alright guys, until next time, my name is Keizo, take care.